Channel 2 Action News investigation has uncovered just how big the data breach was this fall at a local health clinic. In October, Peachtree Orthopedics announced its computer system had been hacked in five counties. The clinic would not tell us then how many people were affected, but we've uncovered the numbers. And Channel 2's Carol Sparge is here with those details. Well, Joe Vita and Justin, it turns out this cyber attack put 531,000 people at risk of identity theft. That is the largest medical data hack in Georgia so far this year. Peachtree Orthopedics says it confirmed in September that someone broke into their computer system. We now know more than half a million people got a letter like this, including Jim O'Kane. I read this and I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Medical records valuable on the dark web. Experts tell us while social security numbers go for pennies apiece, medical records can cost five dollars each. It's the holy grail, right? Because you have to fill out that new patient. You know, for me, it's the first time I've ever been there. You have to fill out that new patient form. They basically ask you for, you know, everything under the sun. Federal data shows nationwide nearly 300 medical data breaches have been reported so far this year. The hacking incident at Peachtree Orthopedics ranks sixth in the country for the number of people put at risk. Cyber attacks like this are a challenge for the feds. It's very different than 20, 30 years ago when, when you know, you had very clear footprints and fingerprints all over the criminal activity. Now, um, it's very easy to mask your criminal activity um, on the Internet. On Twitter, a person or group going by the name The Dark Overlord claimed responsibility for the attack and on the dark web even released a free sample of the data to entice possible buyers. Peachtree Orthopedic sent us a statement. They say they are working closely with outside experts as part of an ongoing review of their security measures. And Carol, we have learned, though, that this targeted people across all walk walks of life, different patients there. Exactly. Some of the victims of the breach include current members of the Atlanta Hawks, former Braves players, and government workers, including FBI agents. That's no good. Carol, thank you for that.